Hey guys, the Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today we're gonna have a mosquito killing lamp face off for you. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. All right, guys, today I have three mosquito killing lamps in contention for place number one for which one works the best. And in place number one, we have the fuse bug mosquito killer. In place number two, we have the electric shock mosquito killing lamp. And in place number three, we have the inhalation mosquito killing trap. All right, guys, so I've tested all three of these things, put them out in the field, and I actually took video of them, um, time-lapse video. So I'm going to play each time-lapse video quickly for you. They're just a few seconds each, so bear with me. All right, video number one is the fuse bug. All right, now time for video number two, the electric shock mosquito killing lamp. All right, and now the inhalation mosquito killing lamp. Okay, guys, so you saw that each one of them did attract some bugs, but how effectively did they attract and how many bugs did they kill? All right, now I had them all out at the same place hanging next to each other so they would be in the same place and have equal opportunity. Well, I've already removed all the bugs from them. The fuse bug is battery powered and the battery in it lasts six hours. So let's just see how many bugs it killed in six hours. Boom, there we go. Um... Not counting them, but there's about 20 bugs there. Uh, there's some little beetles, some little moths, and uh, that's about it. That is all I can see in there. I think there's a couple of ants. There are no mosquitoes in here. These are just random bugs that, uh, that were attracted to the lamp, and that is how it did in six hours in an outdoor environment where there were ample uh, moths and other things to kill. It killed about 20 bugs, okay? All right, now how about the electric shock mosquito killing lamp? One, two, three, boom. Definitely a significant amount of more of bugs, a lot, lot bigger moths, and quite a few more bugs here. I think there actually is one mosquito in here, um, but that's a, if there is one, that's it. Um, it the, the difference is this only has a battery that lasts maybe three hours if it's fully charged. So in half the amount of time, this caught at least double to triple the amount of bugs. So this one definitely did better. But what about the inhalation device? Okay, guys, so we're going to open this up and see what's in the trap down here. Boom. What do we got? We got one little black beetle in there, okay? So clearly in this testing, the only one, the one that did the best was this here. In half the amount of time, it, cost more, it caught more than double the amount of bugs. And in my visual observation, this one actually had a much more power, powerful zap. The fuse bug did attract bug, bugs to it, but they did not. it did not kill them as effectively. This one here has a real strong pop to it. All right, guys, so no, no more wasting time. Okay, so there is no question that the this one right here was the number one most effective at killing bugs. The question is, are any of them valuable to any extent? Well... The fuse bug claims has a commercial that claims it can cl clear out all the mosquitoes in a 600 square foot area within six minutes. It does not kill any mosquitoes, okay, the, at all. And um, this one right here does not have that claim. 
It actually has an instruction that says that in a 300 square foot room, after running continuously for three days, it will eliminate all of the bugs in that room or flying insects. Okay. It actually, it is called a mosquito killing lamp on the label, but the instructions don't say that. So um, there's kind of a deception there going on. It does kill moths and other bugs that are attracted to light. But the truth is, guys, as I said in my other videos, mosquitoes are not attracted to light. They are attracted to heat, body heat. Okay, so no mosquito device that is based on light attraction will work on mosquitoes. Regardless of what frequency it is, do not listen to those commercials. But this one here actually did kill a lot more bugs. And if it was powered all night long, it probably would have been three times that amount of bugs. And in my visual observation, it did seem more powerful and more effective at killing the bugs that landed on it. This one right here, guys, this one here is a piece of junk. Don't waste your money. It doesn't work at all, so just forget it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.